I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. We join with uh, the, the Bowman and Cleveland families to uh, celebrate Mass today in the memory of uh, Al Cleveland, who passed away this morning. Uh, after God welcomed him to paradise and comfort to his family and friends. As we begin our celebration, we take a moment of quiet reflection. Look in our daily lives, find those moments of grace and offer God thanksgiving. Remembering we are sinners, we seek God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners to redemption. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your Son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated, listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escort has taken to the Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, you Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrine, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown, uh, unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made the one, the human race, to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their region so that people might seek God even perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. As even some of your prophets, poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that all people everywhere repent because he has established a day on which he will judge the world of, with justice through a man he has appointed. He has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about resurrection from the dead, some became, began to scoff, but others said, we should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them. But some did join him and became believers. Among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of the Areopagus, um, a woman named Demarius, and others with them. After, after this, he left Athens and went to court. The word of the Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heaven. Praise him in the height. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord. 
for his name is exalted. His majesty is above the earth and heaven. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. See this, his praise from all his faithful ones. From the children of Israel, the people close to him. Alleluia. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Alleluia, alleluia. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. The city of Boston likes to refer to itself as the Athens of uh, North America. Uh, they do so because of the number of uh, colleges and universities there. You have Harvard and MIT and the University of Massachusetts and Northeastern and Boston University and Boston College and probably a dozen or two dozen uh, liberal arts colleges in the area. Um, uh, it's a real concentration of uh, philosophers and people who think and talk for a living. Um, Paul today makes it to the Athens of Athens. He's there in, in, in that city, which was, uh, for the Western world anyway, this was the, the intellectual, uh, cultural capital of Europe. Rome was the political and military capital. Athens was the cultural capital. Uh, going back to uh, Socrates and Plato and Aristotle and all of the philosophers who followed them and all the great schools that, the, that those philosophers had opened uh, in the place. And uh, Paul today goes to his place called the Areopagus. Um, uh, this was just outside the, the agora, of the, the main market of town. Um, it's a place where people were used to giving speeches and people would come to hear people give speeches. Um, uh, philosophers would talk about things, historians would talk about things. There were all kinds of things there. And, and this was great recreation for uh, the Athenians and for the Greek people. Um, and so, uh, uh, he stands up there and starts talking and a crowd gathers around him and uh, he goes and, and does something, uh, addresses them in a very sophisticated way. Um, he's bringing them something they knew nothing about. Um, well, put it into terms that link it to them. Um, and he says, you know, I've been looking at all of your shrines, all of your temples and things. And I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown God. Lucky you, I can tell you who that God is. Um, and he's not some statue or painting somewhere. Um, he's not living on top of a mountain, casting down thunderbolts on you. Uh, the unknown God, the God that you know of, but you don't, you don't know personally, is the God who created you and the world around you, and the universe around this world. Um, and, uh, it, it, and, and addresses them in, in terms that they can understand. Um, uh, he said, you know, uh, he's the God who uh, gives to everyone, uh, for in him we live and move and have our being. He's quoting a, a Greek prophet from six, six centuries earlier. 
uh, really a Greek poet. Um, I think his name was Persemides, but uh, this is from one of his poems and it was well known to the people. And by making this linkage, he's creating a familiarity. He's, he's, they're hoping that something will click inside of them. Um, and uh, uh, they were all captivated by this. Um, uh, it's interesting that uh, they were happy to hear about a God who could create the universe. Um, um, but when he spoke about rising from the dead, this was too much for, for a lot of them. It says that some of them stayed and, and became believers, but others said, we'd like to hear more about this and went on to the next speaker. And I thought, well, well, we'll hear more about this later. Um, uh, what Paul did here was something that uh, missionaries have been doing uh, certainly for the last five or 600 years, uh, meeting people in their own culture and trying to, to take the universal truth of, of who Jesus is and, and what Jesus did for us and show them how it applied uh, to them in their own culture. Um, and, and in doing so, uh, let them make that link uh, to, to the things that, that were familiar with them, to what was beyond uh, the familiar with them. Um, and, uh, you know, it, when Paul spoke, he said he was always inspired by the Holy Spirit to do so. Um, uh, I think, uh, you know, for us, it's, it's an important thing to keep in mind that um, when that, that spark of faith takes hold, um, uh, that, that connects us uh, to this God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, it's, uh, it, it's a wonderful personal experience, but it's also uh, the most powerful universal experience any of us could have. Let's gather our prayers and bring them before our God. We begin praying for peace in our world. As the God send his spirit of peace to the minds and hearts of all men and women. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Pray for the church and gratitude for God's word and God's sacraments. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Pray for our nation as the God watch over and bless it. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Pray for our ministry of Catholic education. Ministry begun by Jesus continued by men like Paul and ongoing today here at our Grand Shepherd Catholic School. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the soul of Al Cleveland in gratitude for his life, um, uh, his love for his family, his love for his community, his service, his fire chief, and all of, uh, all of the ways that, that our lives have been blessed by him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for his family. That they may uh, be comforted knowing that uh, that he is with God um, and uh, that they may feel God's consolation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your intention. Lord, hear our prayer. 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 Continue to remember the, the people hit by the tornado in, in Gaylord. And let's pray for the families um, uh, stricken in, in Texas by the, uh, the school shooting there. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Loving God, we come before you, bringing you our hopes and desires. These we speak, others we hold silent in our hearts, but all of them we offer to you through your Son, Jesus, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
But through you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. It is the gift of the earth, the work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice has made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to duty in our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us, and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers of the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all you eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come in. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads you out the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Give with Francis, our Pope, and Jeff, our Bishop, and all the clergy. And we're also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember your servant, Al, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Aloysius, St. Francis, St. Clair, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, to raise our voices in the prayer given to the church by Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostle, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. With your spirit. Offer each other a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not ready to be May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O oh Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith by living in a right manner on this earth be united with him in the homeland of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank all of you. Thank you.